Hi guys, Diesel Johnny Boy here. Uh, it's a bank holiday Monday. It's a look. There's a beautiful blue sky. It's not raining. We're in England, and it's a bank holiday. Anyway, that's brilliant. Now oh, there's Portia there, and Georgie. That's that's Portia the Labrador. And there's little Georgie. It's supposed to be a mini schnauzer, aren't you, Georgie? Anyway, there she's enjoying the sunshine. But I thought you guys might like to see my latest acquisition. It's an old vintage Danone chainsaw. Now this is the model 55 Mark II automatic. Now this is powered by one of Danone's own 55cc two-stroke engines. One, they made some of their own engines. They, they used Villiers engines on some of their early ones and they also did bad engineering and they used American <laughs> chainsaws and called them Danones. But this is one of their actual true Dan Arm chainsaws, I believe, with their own British made engine. This model dates from somewhere probably, I think it first appeared actually in 1970, I believe. So there, it's probably around about that sort of vintage. A bit funny these ones compared to the modern chainsaws. They seem to, this particular one has the, the recoil start on the right hand side. So you've got the centrifugal clutch behind here as well as the, the starting mechanism. Uh, this one's in pretty good condition really considering probably it's well over 40 years old. It's got a sort of new Oregon bar on it. I think it's got like a 20 inch bar on it. Um, there's no anti-vibration. One of those sort of features, safety features. <laughs> there's also no chain brake as you can probably see. So it's not really something you can use every day really. Um, yeah, but apart from that, it's, it's a good, robust, well-made saw. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice old old bit of British engineering. I'll see if I can fire up for you quickly. It does make a bit of a noise, the muffler's a bit. I think the baffles have gone in it a bit, so it's a bit of a noise. But like I said, it's not something I'm going to use. It's just a bit of a bit of an interesting thing to collect. So there we go. Let's 